Hi everyone, today I'm gonna make a robot out of found parts, some might say junk. You know, it gets a little lonely in the workshop and I need a friend. And some of the parts I'm gonna be working with is an antique coffee tin for kind of the body torso piece. I've got this outdoor light that I found recently for free. And one of these is gonna be perfect for a headpiece. And one thing that really made me feel like I was finally ready to work on this was these parts. And if you know what these are, please let me know in the comments. But basically there's some kind of antique light and there's currently a bulb inside, but I'm gonna wire these with some blue LEDs so that the eyes light up. And what's cool about these is that the glass bobble or lens on the end has a type of diffusion where when you have a light behind it, particularly a, a small LED light, it kind of looks like pixelated light, which is gonna be perfect for this robot. So um, I've got some various greebles here. I've got more boxes of bits and greebles that you may have seen in some of my other videos. And we'll see what else comes of this today. And I'm really excited to finally start this adventure. So let's go. I'm starting by disassembling the outdoor lighting. And this is a perfect piece for a robot head, not only because of the shape, but since it's hollow, it will give me a place to put wiring, battery, and a power button for LED lighting. I'm removing the glass face to replace it with something a lot less fragile. In this case, I'm using chipboard, pretty much glorified, super dense cardboard. And this will give me a base on which I can attach eyes, mouth, and any other facial features I want to add. For mounting the eyes to the face, I have this hollow plastic material that is something that you would use to hide cords on a wall or ceiling, and I'm just cutting it to shape so it'll fit flush with the face. And here I'm measuring and cutting a hole so that I can attach a bracket which I will then attach that plastic piece to. This bracket is something that came with the LED lighting kit that I have in my workshop. At this point, I decided to paint the head and body pieces. While I do want to leave some of the robot parts in the raw, unpainted state so it really feels like a junk bot, I wanted to kind of bring everything together using this hammered metallic paint that I love so much. And in this case, it really brings out the natural corrugated sides of the body piece. I have this rubber something piece of junk that I wanted to use to connect the two eye pieces together. And so I cut a slit in that and it fits over really nice and snug. I don't need this to provide permanent structure because I'm going to be mounting the eyes in another way, but I think it really, it does a nice job of adding a robotic look and bringing them together. Here I'm drilling out and removing the reflectors from the inside because I need access in order to mount the eye pieces to that piece of plastic uh, that I showed earlier. And then I'm just using a really tiny blue LED lights here and inserting them, hot gluing them to the inside of the reflector. and wiring them through. Using a battery here to test to make sure the connections are working properly and it looks great. So now I can go ahead and thread the wires through to the interior of the headpiece and mount the lights. Later I'll make this more structurally sound by bolting these, but for now the bracket's working fine. Here I'm drilling a hole for the button and I'm gonna just hot glue that button through the inside and also hot glue the battery connector. Man, I can't tell you how happy this makes me. Um, it just looks so good. LED lighting and electronics and robotics have been things that I've been intimidated by for a really long time. And 
I, for some reason, I just decided to not be afraid of it anymore and just to dive in. And I've been learning a ton. You know, right now it's just light up eyes, but that's just the start of a robot. And it's the start of an adventure and an exploration into electronics and lighting and robotics and, and doing more and more exciting and inspiring things. So this is a project that I'm already really proud of and already really inspired by, and it's just starting. Um, he's gonna be a great companion in the workshop. He already makes me happy and brings me joy. So um, I'm gonna continue working on this. I've got a lot more work to do on uh, adding more to the head, giving more of a face than just eyes. I've got to work on um, his body and attaching the head to the body, bringing in some more lighting and some other details. I think it's only gonna get better. So very excited about that. For a super smiley mouth, I have this gasket that I just recently harvested from a vacuum. I'll share a video of that in the description. And to add a little bit of texture behind that, I have this side panel from an electric tape recorder. So I'm just cutting that down to size and shaping the edges so that it fits behind the smiley mouth shape of the gasket. I couldn't have asked for a better shape and it just adds so much life and personality and just brings me so much joy when I look at it. I'll eventually paint over the super glue marks with some black paint. And now it's time to attach the head. So just measuring and cutting a hole and I can use the existing connectors from the, the outdoor light themselves to just bolt that right on. And now it's time to work on the body details. This is just a kitchen faucet spout that I'm gonna take apart so that I can add some LED lighting inside this. And my thinking is that this will make a really nice chest mounted power core effect. So just drilling some holes, using some screws to attach that from the inside. And then I'm gonna use this yellow LED and just glue it in from the back. And the, the mesh front of this, because I took out the innards of this thing, um, the light will shine through. And I'm adding here just some piece of white plastic that I have from somewhere that will add some diffusion so you can't tell that it's just an LED bulb inside. And now I have this power switch that I harvested from a vacuum. And I'm gonna be mounting that to the back so that I can power that power core and some other LED lighting that I'll be adding. And now I'm doing some quick and dirty wiring on the inside. I'm not doing any soldering or anything permanent because I wanna be able to make changes to this in the future. And that looks really great as a power core. And now it's time to add more lights to the chest. I have these red and blue light covers from a really old washing machine that look really nice. And I'm gonna use this thin piece of white foam to diffuse the light and again, so that you can't see the LED bulb behind it. Later you'll see that I end up not lighting the blue light because the battery I'm using isn't enough to power all the lights I'm using, but that's okay. I have this piece of a camera that I'm really excited about because it looks very robotic and I'm going to cut a hole here for that and mount that on. Sorry for the occasional blurry footage, but you get the idea. And for this, I'm actually gluing a spring to the back and there will be a flickering LED light in there. And the idea is that I'm kind of thinking of this as like some kind of transmission of signal or power. And now it's time to do some more quick and dirty wiring on the inside. And I think that looks really nice, especially with that flickering LED light in the upper left. Now I'm gonna make some arms and I have this microphone pop filter from my podcasting days and the metal bendable tubing will make for great posable arms. And that will not only add more expression to this robot, but 
it will add more functionality because he'll be able to hold wires for me that I'm soldering or hold things that I'm gluing together. And to make that possible, I have these small metal clamps that I'm hot gluing to the end of each of them. And adding a layer of duct tape to help make them stay on a little better, but also cover some of the cut metal on the edge. And again, for these, I can use some of the existing hardware from the pop filter to connect them to the sides. He's a little front heavy, so I have this part of an RC car that I'm gonna go ahead and glue to the front bottom just to help him tilt back a little bit so he's not gonna tip over. Man, I can't tell you how happy this makes me. I love this robot. Um, it brings me joy already, which is his primary function. And later in the project, um, I added a secondary function, which is to actually be a helper robot in the workshop. Um, so he can, I gave him some posable arms with some clamps on the end so he can help me with soldering, holding wires in place. Uh, he can help me hold items that I'm gluing together. Um, it's very often that I could use a second pair of hands in the workshop. And I think he's gonna do a great job of helping me. So um, this has been a great project. This is the first time that I've done this extensive uh, amount of LED lighting or anything even close to it. Um, I love the, the use that I made out of some found objects and junk that I've been collecting recently, but also, you know, things that I've pulled off of cameras or collected from our junk drawer at home or just picked up in free boxes or on Craigslist or, you know, off the sidewalk. And so, yeah, it's really nice to justify collecting found objects like that and to use them. And like I said, this is just the start of me embracing uh, or facing my fears with electronics and robotics. And this is just the beginning right now. Um, he started as kind of a glorified lamp, but I gave him more features and now he has some posable hands as well. So that's gonna be a nice addition. And I'm gonna continue to study electronics and robotics and uh, upgrade this little guy, but also make other robots and add servo motors and things like that to have more interactivity, uh, lights and sounds, light effects. And so this, I'm really excited. So this little guy does not have a name yet and I'm still thinking about it, but if you have ideas, please throw them in the comment section below. And if I do pick one of your names, I'll be sure to pin it in the comment and uh, give you credit. Um, but I'm gonna keep thinking as well um, because he deserves a name. Uh, worthy of his place uh, as a companion in the workshop and a helper in the workshop. So I couldn't be happier. And uh, to close this out, I'm gonna go ahead and show some more close-up shots of my new little robot companion. Thanks for watching.